Anon, listen, I'm actually trying to do a favor to all of us by keeping things real. If you are in crypto, if you Ponzi farm, we invest, whatever, if you're the total next level, you have already made it, then you probably know what, what happened. You, you know, you're good. But if you're still on the sideline trying to figure out, oh, you know what, should I buy BDC? Should I buy this? Should I buy get into Cosmos ecosystem, whatever is going to make us a lot of money so we can sell that and get into real estate, buy a land or whatever, right? Or put in dividend stocks or whatnot. Let me break the saddest and baddest news, basically. All right. 99.9% .9 of the crypto stuff that you're seeing right now. Okay. Maybe not on this list because I'm trying to, you know, do my best to take out hundreds of them from thousands of them. But I'll tell you, even out of hundreds of these, most will go to zero. If not all, most will go to zero. Yeah. And I'm not making anything up. I'm literally telling you, be careful. I cannot pick one individually, say, you know what, Akash might be this, or that might be the this, this. I'm just trying to keep it real. If you don't sell before the end of the cycle, whatever the cycle of the, the token, the project, it's over. I'm tired of seeing all the fake developers just giving us all these fake opiums. You might forget about it. The other dude, they're just holding back for the rest of their life. It's, it's unfair. It's a zero-sum game. And I keep saying this. If you name any of the investors, yeah, oh, that investor made a lot of money. Wait. He's also a YouTuber with millions of subscribers. There you go. You barely will see some dude who legitimately played in the game without any insider knowledge or whatsoever and won. It's, it's rare. Unless they got in very early and those are the tiny percentage, they don't talk much at all. They're just underground. Tiny percentage who bought probably Bitcoin at $100 or so whatever, ETH for $100 or whatever. That's about it. Okay. And now I'm going to show you something real quick. I do my best to go through comments. All right. So, sure. Keep strong. You'll make it. Document you for so long. Give you big... Thank you. I don't know you. Where have you been, huh? You don't know me. Where have I been? <laughs> make more videos. As long as the scam of property taxes is allowed to continue, the things... Yeah, housing market. Have to do another video on that. My housing market video just caught quite a few people off guard. 20 dislikes. 40 likes. No, no. Sorry. 10 dislikes. 40 likes. That's not bad. But I want to show you something here. Real quick. Let's go down, okay? Look at this here. Sif chain. Remember Sif chain? Little update. Sif chain... This is the price right now, 0 0.00001. It's not going to zero, it's going to negative zero, man. You see what, what's happening here? It's just one of the examples. Let me show you another example, okay? And I hold a tiny amount of this. Here, look at this here. Remember EVMOS? No, you do remember EVMOS. I called out EVMOS several, have, have a whole playlist on it, but I gotta keep it real. I have a very tiny position and I'm not staking anymore. It's on the side. If you look at the whole chart right now, it gives me the vibe. Of literally disappearing just like sift chain i'm not gonna get on there hey listen i hold if you remember twenty thousand plus peak my bag was at twenty six thousand. i believe if you go back you can see the documentary i was cashing out because i had to pay off private loan so i was all taking out all the rewards and you know thank god i did that if i was compounding just like a lot of people would compound and stick again staking so-called staking right staking has its pro and cons man you gotta understand that it's just not right i'd rather keep the money liquid so I can flip when I need to flip. So look at this EVMOS. Gives me this weird vibe. And there's another one, so-called Pika, just like a uh, world, whatever. You know, let me see if I can find it right here. Pika, where are you, Pika? Just one example, just to show you the chart, how they behave. Look at this here. Look at this Pika. Pika is just so-called on the wormhole kind of project. Came out in Cosmos and stuff. If you get on their Twitter, you see, you'll see all the hype so-called in the beginning. Because there are a lot of people who bought in early. And they were talking to stake. These guys will make you stake your lock your tokens so then you can sell and then you see this thing going down. And of course, when it pumps, we are all excited. When it dumps, not excited. I'm giving one example because this is the case of many and it's going to happen. It's going to happen. You just wait and see. You will not even realize that the whole thing dropped from $10. If you look at Tia, all the YouTubers in Cosmos were shilling Tia, Ibmos, every single thing. I was trying to see from a different perspective right critic basically so see actually if it makes sense not just the project also the people oh wow my camera just died but anyway also not, not just not, not only the project but also the hype behind it what people think about it is there a demand it's not about my emotions at all not at all that's why i said if you hold something this is like gme i have quite a bunch of stuff but i will tell you where i make my losses but i'm not here to pump and dump hence i'm very careful if you remember i told you i got rid of floki and floki went up to all the way what three something but I literally sold a little more than what it is right now. So um, it, it, if it goes up or down, it doesn't matter to me. Maybe it's going to go up, but that's where the greed takes over, right? Because all of these tokens that you're seeing right now, they have a time, they have a time span cycle. I'm not only talking about bull and bear. 
I'm talking about several years seeing this thing. And it, it's 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 a wildest time we are living in, man. And makes me very upset that looking at it, the people are taking advantage of just the layer one tokens, trading all kind of dark, you know, crap just so they can pump their bags. So if you don't get out early, then you're holding bags for the rest of your life. I kid you not. Because if you look at this speaker here, right? Look at this speaker. Look at the chart here. You know that you want to see the date here? The date was December 23rd. It went all the way up because it, they launched the project. And you know why they do that? You see the pattern? Every time when something pumps, there are a lot of new projects that hit the market. <laughs> Developers excited to build right now. Really? And then it goes down. Don't worry, we're coming back. Some tokens will never come back. I'm not speaking on behalf of Pika or whatever, but I kid you not. I was watching Pika literally drop 50% low. If you remember, I said, I want to flip it. I think my whole thing dropped to two hundred dollars or less than that right now. I mean, it's ridiculous. But if you look at this, I was like, "Wow, yeah, might have a chance." Even right now, if you think about this, I mentioned if you can catch catch some of the decent tokens at the bottom, that's decent. But there are some tokens that will just keep bottoming, bottoming, bottoming. Okay, because they, people need more liquidity to cash out. These dudes are insiders have a lot more tokens. So that's why I said one of the examples. Another one: no more multivac videos, new roadmap, nodes out, new listings. Really? New roadmap? New listings? Bruh, why now? Listen, I don't want to even check on MTV. If you remember, I have a playlist on it. Most, some of the tokens I mentioned previously, that's how I learned. Right now, I'm not in interested to hold significant amount of any of these tokens and stake it. Akash is one of the few ones I stake. Atom, look at Juno, what happened? Is Juno going to come back ever? I don't know, man. Look at Stargaze, another video for another day. The Stargaze Marketplace. This is a tiny amount of few tokens I hold. And that's it. I'm not interested to do any more crazy stuff. Not here to gamble or Ponzi farm. If I really want to get into something more, I will figure out how to expand the portfolio, diversify a little bit of gold, dividend stocks, as well as eat maybe a little bit. I have some chain link. I'm decent with those. I really don't want to play in this kind of Ponzi market, which is just here to get you wrecked, believe it or not. You can play whatever you want, man. I want you to win, but I also have to give you the correction. Because I'm not one of those guys who's who gonna keep quiet on the side and forget about hey super farm. The guy never came up with one. Look, look here, over here. Okay, keep vigilant. Thanks, man. What was that? Let me show you another comment here. It was somewhere. Look, total scammer. His project stall. He's talking about Elliot Trace and Super Farm four months ago. And then he just rebrands them. He's on his second or third rebrand. Yeah, man. Super Farm. Uh, Tron Chat, Evo Token. Bruh. This guy's no go to jail. These guys have literally real scams running every day, like with their face on, and it doesn't have matter. Like I told you, this is not this Bernie matter of time that people have all this. People nowadays are totally different level. Like grift has no limit, man. It's like it's not like somebody has to come to you, knock your door, and say, "Hey, give me your hard earned money." It's literally someone just creates some magical ding dong, and you just pay one thousand because you know it's, it's it's a you know it's a crazy decision that we make when we mint an nft or something because when you press a button there's no recourse you can't go back you press it and it's gone right it's not there's no refund they're not gonna give you a refund so that's why i'm saying man it's just so hardcore making money is so easy in a way i can literally print money right now just doing some nfts or being anon i can you know that hey what's stopping me uh i told you man youtube i do youtube because it's fulfillment it's it's, it's uh fulfilling yeah it is and I'm not making anything from YouTube as of now, maybe in the future, but that's why I have to have some other stuff to make my, you know, stuff so I can pay the bills. But I have, I don't like to stop YouTube because I like, it's fulfilling. Some things you just do not only for the money, for the sanity. Like, it just makes me like, I'm, you know, I'm connecting to you. I feel more relatable because there are a lot of people I know in real life cannot even connect with me because totally different level. So that's why I love YouTube. Yeah, I kid you not, doing videos. <laughs> even if it gets a view, two views or 10 views, some of the channels, some of the stuff you see. Maybe I'm gonna change the game plan. But again, I'm letting you know. This is a uh, just a quick announcement. Most of the tokens, just go and check. I'm also surprised that people ag agree with me to whatever extent, in a lot of way. He was pretty dope. I enjoyed his content. Now, tired. I <laughs> think you still didn't say what he did. Oliver Lake on chain. Okay, you want me to say what he did? He had an AMC channel. He deleted the whole 10,000 subscriber, whatever channel. Then he started crypto because he's a crypto guru. Then started his own so-called token. Same pattern. Anyway, don't want to talk about them anymore right now. But uh, ladies and gents, yeah, let's go. This was very nice. Thank you. Oh, Dime. What happened to Dimension? Are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> bro, using answer filter. 
bro what handsome filter man just using barely using any filter just my green light right there which is billion i have to make a billion dollars like i said if i had a if i had literally had a two million whatever subscribers as uh mozi lxr mozi i could do it the right way anyway no problem I'll, I'll get there some days very soon sooner or later who knows maybe 10 years that's fine but i'll, I'll tell you if you stick around again it, it takes time it's patience and i'm here to learn and adapt but again one if when I, when I do certain thing I'll should be break it behind the scene. I'll show you exactly why I did that, why I did that. Most people don't ask any of these questions, like reverse engineer, a webinar, a sales script or something. Yeah, it's just hard work, man. Or else I wouldn't be doing this at 10.30 p.m. on Sunday. And look here. So Tory's a scam because the founders bought real estate. Really? Oh, wait, wait, wait. D did they do that? This is latest, three months ago. They're still updating the project. So the developers are still around. <laughs> Bro, that is a problem. They will never tell you it's broken or any of these. I mean, which developer is honest enough to come and say that my project is shit? No. They will keep doing whatever until it goes to 0000. That's like Sif Chain, Rovan, right? It's still there. If you go back and watch my video then and now, nobody's going to do a follow-up and say, oh, this is where it happened. This is why it happened. So you got to be careful. Hence, I'm telling you right now that be extra careful of 99 crypto projects because, again, it gets listed on exchanges because it makes the money through volume, through fees. If it wasn't this money thing, it's, it's not happening, okay? And every YouTuber I've seen, every YouTuber, besides just a couple, which I can't even name any right now because they're so on it, on the grift level. And I kid you not, because they feel like this is one of the last cycles. And after that, you all will forget them because they will be moved on to AI and other narratives. Because just let's stick around, then we'll see where it goes, okay? I'm pretty confident on some, some of the stuff I did. And again, I lost money. I only lose if none of us get to learn anything from it. I mean, that's just fiat value, which is hurtful. I have so much of debt, but I have a plan. And if I stick around long, I probably will be able to figure out. Maybe I'll just give you my plan next some other time, okay? How to take this and this. Because I have to pay the debt, and then I'm going to accumulate a lot of other stuff. All right? So again, ladies and gents, thanks for watching. Give me a two, 12 minutes. Maybe I'll change the thumbnail. Sometimes I change the title to some extent. But I don't like to do clickbaity or any of that. It's just raw, straightforward. And I will edit some of the videos just to give you on-point news, okay? But not any extra fancy news, uh, fancy editing. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.